So uh, if you're wanting to make a quick join between fluorocarbon and spectra, uh, the easiest and best not to use because it's small, goes through the guides well, uh, uh, and it can be tied quickly, uh, is a knot developed by one of the uh, skippers on the Royal Polaris called John Collins. Uh, so the knot is referred to either as the Royal Polaris or RP knot or the John Collins knot. Uh, it's the knot I use when I'm in too big a hurry to tie an FG knot. I normally, it takes me six, six, seven minutes to tie an FG knot. I can tie this in, in, in a minute if, if, if I choose to. Uh, the, the knot is small, strong, uh, an excellent knot to teach uh, a, a, a beginning fisherman uh, to make a join. Uh, if I was going to teach my child two knots, it would be the five-turn single San Diego and the RP knot. To, to tie the knot, um, overlap something you need about, let, let's say, six to eight inches of fluorocarbon. You, you can get away with less uh, once you get more experience with it. This is 60 pound fluorocarbon, 60 pound spectra. Um, I would leave probably eight or nine inches of maybe even 10 inches of spectra when you're tying the knot. And it's very helpful if you tie it the same way every time. So I always start up and then I wrap away from myself on the back side, uh, and, and by doing it that way, I always know when I finish, I'm gonna come down to go out the, same, out the loop the same way I, uh, the main line's going. So uh, I'm gonna do, Larry ties 10 turns down and nine or 10 turns back. Uh, I'm more typically, do six or seven turns uh, uh, when I'm fishing in fresh water, and sometimes even only five turns in salt water because it gets a little harder to cinch up the knot. But uh, uh, I'm gonna do six turns just to make it a little easier for me to cinch up the knot here. Uh, but Okay, so I'm gonna one, one turn, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can pinch and hold hold the line just like that. Now, if I want to be very fastidious, I can literally make each uh, wrap in between the others, uh, uh, but I, it's, I don't think that's necessary to get that fastidious. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, and now I'm going to come back over this side of, of the line uh, uh, one time. So, so in both cases, they're going downward through the loop. Now, it turns out that this knot breaks in the spectra right where the spectra is pulled down in the knuckle. So if you, add, if you just do two more wraps around that finished side, one wrap, two wraps, you, you, you create more bulk when the spectra, uh, I'm sorry, when the, when the uh, fluorocarbon is pulled down around the spectral wraps, and it adds five to 15% to the strength of the knot. So that's a valuable thing to do. Now we're just, there's the knot, now we're gonna cinch it up it's a high friction knot, so it's it's useful to 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 use uh, 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 some lubrication, and you can pull the knot down with your fingers to to get it more formed, and then you're going to want to pull on it uh, uh, with with some kind of a, a. I mean, if you can pull on it really hard with your hands, that's fine. But uh, uh, for for me, it cuts the spectra cuts up my hand, so I use my knot puller. And then we're, we're gonna cinch that up. And, and that's basically uh, the, the knot right there. 
you can cut it very close. Uh, uh, it's not going to slip, so you can. I'm going to cut this uh, really as as close as I can uh, without without accidentally cutting the, the spectra. So I cut that very close, and then uh, the spectra can be cut close especially since we added those two additional wraps. There's nothing uh, there that doesn't risk coming undone. So that's the finished knot. As you can see, it's very small, goes through the water very well. And because there's not much of a, of a bit of, of uh, the fluorocarbon sticking out, it doesn't, it's gonna be going out through the guides this way so it doesn't hit the guides very much. So yeah, su super thin knot, very stealth. Uh, sardine has no trouble pulling it through the water. Right. It doesn't catch on other lines. Yeah. And also, if you go two more wraps, if you feel like myself, it doesn't add dimension to the knot. It no. just adds length. Yeah. What it's doing is it's creating bulk where that knuckle, the, the spectra is coming out through the knuckle of bent over fluorocarbon and that bent over fluorocarbon isn't allowed to pull as far into the barrels of the spectra uh, because it, you've bulked it up right there. So that's a knot, great knot, uh, uh, and uh, everybody should have it in their arsenal. Do it right, it'll never break. <laughs>